Talking about ATM because you watching Kimchi TV. Bang! It's like I just, woo! Just fucking Ric Flair 500 panels on a bench press, nigga. Woo! Take that energy, man. I'm still gassed off of this fucking no, off of this uh, ID interview we had. Bangers! Oh, Kimchi TV, I am KamaniKim.com, WorldWideWilding.com, Mr. Idea coming soon to shorten all that shit up. Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Yo, my glasses are flyer than yours, nigga. Wowza. Yeah, I do that. I did that. You know what? This is uh, after black in this bitch. Kimchi TV after black, motherfucker. Go ahead and get your sniffer and drink some water. You know? I had this dope-ass post that said, <laughs> Stop bitching about your life and drink like a grown-up. <laughs> Bang. So you know what, we got a few things going on. I know what I'm already gonna get prepped up though. We're gonna play one of these before we even go in. We got a motherfucking guest calling in tonight. Z-Dub of the Mighty Mighty Stakes is in the motherfucking house. He's gonna be calling in tonight. So that's gonna be fucking sick as fuck, man. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play one of my favorite steak songs. Maybe take a Soto, roll something up for show though, and then I'm going to probably jump into these 115 messages I got to read. That's in sectional breaks of 5, 4, 3, 2, fucking all of them. Nigga, like, I can't even, I can't, yo, I appreciate the love. That's all I'm going to say. You know, we're going to get into this Steaks house party, because I was at the house party that they throw. They throw epic shits, man. Like, you, you do not understand. Unless you're part of that. And you're there. It's some movie shit. We was in the middle of Tempe. In the middle of Tempe. Fucking McClintock and Broadway. Just say Broadway for fucking video's sake, okay? House party packed, man. Like about, you know, no front stimations. About pff, fucking at least 100 people. 150 people in a three-bedroom house, my nigga. Live, full live band in the living room. No furniture. I was fucking faded as fuck. I was out there painting. I sold a grip of merchandise. Shouts out. To, that's where I met Kevin Palmer. Bang. That's where I met Kevin. And we've been linking from there. We got fucking mad, mad future shit popping, son. Look at my face. <laughs> Screenshot all them emotions and I'm going to holler at you later. Yo, but anyway, we're going to play this Stakes House Party featuring ID because it's only right. My nigga was just here dropping some super science on you. I sure hope you guys watched that uh, Above the Cloud, man. There's a meaning behind that. Sometimes some shit is, is, is deeper than just music, man. You got to go above the cloud. So if shit is deep, let's rise, man. Let's enlighten yourself, man. Y'all talking about that Aluma, huh? Look it. I doubled up. I doubled up. It's what it is, man. Let me stop commentating. Play these bangers. This is the stage. Don't act like you don't know. Lord Cash in the building. I see what you, sir. That bass not the shit. You know who we about to win. Z double E, now take a ride on this rocket ship and hell that kind of shit that sparkles when the sun hits. Excelling the upbeat, these hands nod to that drum hit. Music elevation, so it's more than green, we blaze and I'll take you for focusing up the rights of magic on these pages. Just to hit these stages, just to see your hands raising, just to hear y'all say double cash, we doing it there. So keep rocking like tonight, bring the truth to the light. Feel a little bumpers at the time, but it's grown folks in the night. That's swag, I ain't buying it, rough hands ain't gonna whine it. I'm gonna keep the least beats, the stakes we supply it. I'm around here with the best, Lord Cash.
gotta do it right. The right people and the right, right music. music. And we we represent. We the soundtrack to it. Check it from Africa to everything in between. We get to see life. It's a beautiful thing. You know what you're feeling high. Ask if it's in a dream. It's that can't see magic suicide. It's a dream. Check it from Africa to everything in between. We get to see life. It's a beautiful thing. You know what you're feeling high. Ask if it's in a dream. It's that can't see magic suicide. It's a dream. Nothing you ever seen. There'll never be a rerun. Promise you nothing will be the same after we done. Brush the ashes off. Rocks like Phoenix Suns get it done. Blow your mind. Shove it back. You know it's wrong. Ladies love the boys. Jeez love the flow. Women give me hugs. Brothers say where to go. We on the winner. We gotta keep it together. We turn every show into the best house party. Ever, 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 ever. This shit makes you want to pick up a motherfucker. Stakes, motherfucker. Featuring ID the Chosen, man. Fucking goddamn it. ID the Gifted. ID the. Who the, who the fuck is this calling me? Is this Z Dub of the Mighty Mighty States? Hello? Yes, sir, indeed. Sir, thank you for calling Kimchi TV. Bang, my nigga. Go ahead and tell him who you is, sir. Yo, man, it's your boy. Z Dub of the Stakes. Put a 30 ounce in my lap. And a rap in your backpack, my nigga. Let him know, brother. Fuck that. You go in. You go in, sir. You see, I just played the house party live show, brother. I was there. I painted that. I painted for y'all. That was a wonderful night. Yes, it was a fucking excellent night, my nigga. We gotta recreate that. Oh, man, that, there ain't nothing like that. We'll just do something uh, for more phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal. Uh. <laughs> I got dancers. <laughs> Hey, we only require pasties and uh, a valid driver's license. Holla at your boy. Pretty much. <laughs> Z-Dub in the building, man. How you been, man? Tell me something good, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm hype about tomorrow night, man. Shit, same here, man. Nomadic oh. hip-hop, cooling out, man. Where we at? Where we gonna be at tomorrow? We'll be at the motherfucking in-house, man. Mm-hmm. That's like the next home. Yeah, it is, man. They making their way. They got to show Phoenix that, that good shit, man. I heard that they fucking closed a lot of good clubs down in Tempe recently, man. Did you see all that shit? Yeah, man. I went to the I went to the shit at, at Cell End when they were doing, like, the last, uh, like, the, like, the Going Away Festival for that shit. Wow, dude. That sound, that was a that was a good venue, man. I like their patio space a lot. Ah, uh, dude. And the sound was perfect out there. Fucking perfect, bro. But they, I heard they got a new venue that they're setting up at, but I, I don't know. Dude, I heard the same thing about uh, the Club Red move to Mesa. <sighs> I mean, I'm not dissing Mesa. I was born in... Shit over there. Huh? We've already been doing shows over there. Yeah, well, okay, I'm late. Bro, I just got out of the lab. I cracked the bat cave and spread my wings only about four days ago, man. I don't leave this house, my nigga. Dude, I don't... I, I haven't been to a show. I just know they're happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about me. Hell yes, yeah, sir. Hell yeah, man. So how do you feel about the energy in the in the state right now? Any comments? The state, man. The stakes just, man. The stakes just went upstate. The motherfucking Flagstaff for Brother Cosmos. Oh, nice. Man, that shit was dope. I've never been to Flagstaff. Oh, that man. Shit was dope. Well, see, you from Mississippi, right? Am I correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it was kind of like, like going back in time a little bit because it was like getting green. <laughs> Everywhere. Nice, except man. For, except when we got there, there was just like no black people there. Oh, yeah. Welcome to uh, NAU, my nigga. <laughs> like, none. Like, me and Kick Drum, Kev, we were just driving around like, but there's a whole bunch of happy white folks around here. Hey, man, well, happy people is good. Black or white. Oh, Scooby-Dee-Doo. Uh, uh, 
man. Oh, that's good nice shit, show. man. I shit, I may have probably slurred my words. I am just sipping on this vodka right here, man. But uh, shit, man. I tell me, how do you feel about the energy in the state right now, Arizona? How do you feel about what we what we got right here? I, there's so much undiscovered talent. I hate the word local because that's a mind state. That's a location. Local is not a. You know what I'm saying? You can transcend that. What are you thinking? I don't have a problem with local. You don't. You don't have a problem with that term? No, not at all. Okay. It, it, there's, a, there's a place you always got to start, and there's a place you always got to go back home to. Simple as that. Right. Right. You know, that's a, another side of the coin I never considered, bro. Like, you're actually just right. paying homage. Like, you, there are steps that have me say there's levels to this shit. So, locals won. Yeah. I mean, I mean, everybody got to start somewhere, man. I, that's why I love. I, that's why I love Tech Nine, man. Man, he is the he is the the fucking yeah, pinnacle yeah. of a perfect career, man. <laughs> he is like the biggest local national artist of all time. He owns his own factory in Kansas City, Missouri, man. They got a factory, my nigga. They print everything out of there. Dude, it, that dude's a genius, man. Yeah, he is. Yes, hats off yeah. to you, Tech Nine. Hey, I was a little side story I'll share with you, man. It was like in about eleventh grade. He had that angelic CD, I think, that came out, and it was him with the. Uh, angel wings spread out and a bunch of blood on the cover and shit, right? Now, mind you, I was, I'm was i versed in my hip-hop. I like a lot of East Coast shit. Heavy on the East Coast, please, is what I tell them. So, I, I like a lot of lyrical bar shit, but this cover, I was attracted to it because my art mind was like, this cover is sick, and then I listened to the music, and I'm young-minded. I automatically just associated it like the episode we had with ID that you should really, really watch, bro. That sh the, 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 ID dropped some knowledge, bro. But, uh... I watched I watch the first part when you, when, you, when you first got on. Oh, yeah, the second part, it gets... The third part three is the deepest shit in the, going right now. I'm gonna check out part Yeah, two. yeah, it's dope. But my I got side chicken to say, um... You know what? Tech 9 had this cover, and it flipped me out. So I thought he was on the demonic shit, and I wasn't really listening. And then I finally listened, double back, and listened five years later. Yo, he he's prophetic, man. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm... I I probably was, I was, yeah, I think I was the same way. Yeah, I think I started off with, I actually started off with Killers. Oh, okay, I've heard of that one. I have heard of that. Yeah. And then I went back, Killers was dope. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, he got I, some, he got some spitters around him. Uh, Calhoun, what's the name? The Calhoun, the dude who wears the uh -huh. eye shit? Yeah. Slit, yeah, man. With Chris Calico? That's Chris Calico, that's his name. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, the dude that sing opera and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the world, my nigga. Ain't no limits on none of this, man. Creativity is creativity. Period. Bro, so, uh... So, I mean, shit, I know that you had that battle of the bands, man. You want to speak on any of that? How was that situation, bro? Oh, man, that was... That was interesting. That was interesting, man. We, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> we got up there. ID rolling with us. And, uh... And Sarah... She's uh, doing pictures and what happened. Shouts out to you. Oh. Okay. And, uh, yeah, shout out to Green Room, man. Yeah, I Green Room all day, bro. But uh, we get up there, man, and I've already peeped the music beforehand. Like, I checked out some of the artists that was supposed to be on the list, and I knew that it was supposed to be, like, a bunch of pop. I mean, like, uh, pop, punk, and punk rock, and metal. Oh, okay, okay. There was, like, a bunch of teenagers there, like, dressed crazy as shit. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> you know what? It was a, it was a, it was a great thing because man, I mean, we were like in the basement, we're the Nile Theater. And we're oh, yo, that venue is sick as fuck. If that place gets packed, that's like some back east New York. Uh, that's actually like some Eight Mile Club. That reminds me of that. Pretty much, without it being snowing outside, so it's like a <laughs> hot as shit inside and hot as shit outside. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My bad. I cut you off. Go ahead. No, but we had already decided, uh, like, we're going we gonna, we gonna to go to the fuck in on this, right? And we did. We did. We, man, that was probably the hypest I ever performed. And that then we just left. And you probably introduced y'all to a whole new fan base, man. I guarantee you some people's following y'all due to that show, man. Oh, yeah, man. It was, it was a cool show, man. We got some good connections. Well, you know what it is, man? You guys run a rare lane, man, because... You know, I know you, I'm assuming you get this comparison a lot to the roots, man. And that's only because, I don't know, we can break it down to the real deep level of the social structure on how they took the music programs out of the inner cities and now we broke into hip hop and use what we had and rule the world now. But uh, you guys are one of the rare few hip hop bands nationally, not even just, would you say locally, like 
Besides the roots, let me know, my nigga. For real. I mean, I mean, we do that, brother Cosmos, out here. Okay, well, see, put me up on that. Yeah. Tag me on, tag me on some of that. I'm just talking about two MCs, a dope ass band, and undeniable talent. I'm sorry. I mean, that's that's y'all two, man. Yeah, and you can't forget about Holly, man. Our, our new addition. Uh, oh, our, great yeah. addition, great addition. Yes, yeah, she yeah, goes. Man. It's a beast. It's yeah. a beast, man. So I mean, it, I tell you what, we we've almost been together for two years now, and we, that shit baffles my mind, bro. Yeah, and we've grown so much, man. Like musically, everybody lyrically and relationship wise, everybody's just grown together. Um, and we're, we've even switched up a lot of the formats of how we write our tunes now. So we're dropping, like, so we're dropping an EP pretty soon. Sick. You know, in August. So um, is this different than the live version? This is the studio version? Yeah. Nice, yeah. good shit, man, good shit. And then, uh, and then we're dropping another studio, like an actual studio album that's like full length uh, with Clark Rigsby. This dude's worked with like Stevie Wonder, uh, Paul McCartney, like the dude has a track record from like the 70s. Good shit, man. And so that's, that, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be really dope. And that's gonna be more eclectic, you know, more, it's definitely gonna be more jazz based than the EP, but we're moving forward, just working on a lot of new music. Hey, progress is always good, man. And luckily, you you and Cash are some MCs that got range out of this world, man. I bump his uh, Renegade, must stay paid, paid in full. Him and Kick Drum Kev killed that shit. Yeah, man. Yo, man, I gotta get well versed on the rest of the stakes names. Can you shout them out for me, bro? Cause I'm not too familiar. Go ahead, man. Yeah, man. We got we got Ben Kamara on the keys. We got uh, we got Kick Drum Kev on the drums. We got Alex Melter on bass. We got Holly on the vocals. Me and Cash are the MCs. We got Caleb Beasy on lead guitar when he's in or out of town, you know, wherever he's around. Uh, we got a shout out to our original bass player, uh, Jerome. AK. Yeah, Jerome. I remember meeting you at Rogue, Jerome. You bought some of my prints. You are the shit, man. I hope all is well, sir. I will definitely send that message to him. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, anybody else, man. I hey, we have a. Uh uh, residential uh, Call Me When You Need Me artist Kamani Kim in the building. Indeed. You know, anytime you need me, my brother, you know how we get down since day one, man. Dude, the, the stakes is more than just us, man. We, we consider anybody that we associate with almost a part of the stakes and the fact that, you know, anytime, anytime we do a show, anytime we put an event together, we reach out to everybody, you know? So... And, you know, we reach out to the cream of the crop of the group, man. Mm -hmm. ID and Real Hey, speaking of, don't, you're going to make me play that. But uh, shout out to Realistic. I just He came through and took a beat tour like a couple weeks after you. And he, a, he, he almost went ham. He collected like 20 beats. And I had to email him about 12. I'm like, bro, calm down. Realistic, stupid, man. Realistic is, man, he's, he's phenomenal, dude. Realistic will just, he was just crap. Hey, you know what? So you watched you watched part one. So you saw when ID was talking about the collaboration albums with artists out here. You know what I'm saying? Like the Styles P and the Currency situation, similar. You know? I love that. I love that part. Yeah, he's like he's saying he he totally he and I agree with him. I vibe off y'all's connection. The way you and Cash balance that mix, man, is is good, man. You never there's never a dull moment. Never at a steak show, house party, fuck your couch, nigga. Come on. Yo, man, I, dude, working with Cash has been great, man, because he's, he's somewhat of an older MC. I ain't gonna say he's old. He's older seasoned, MC. seasoned. Lowry's. We'll call Cash Mike Lowry's. Basically. And he's, I don't know, man. Anytime there's a show, that dude is ready. Oh, yeah, Cash he's is a professional. You know, you know, I'm pretty, you know, sometimes I get up there and I can be pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why we, join the club, my nigga. <laughs> I'm looking at Cash like, all right, I gotta focus like him. Mm-hmm. And I mean, hey man, that's that yin and the yang, though, bro. It's a it's a perfect balance, man, because he he vibes off of your energy as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, and I it's, uh, and I, I plan to continue to keep doing that, man. Hey, well, that's along some good with, shit. Along with anybody else we work with, man. Well, man, I see some big things in the future, man. I was just previously hinting to before. Uh, before we got on the air with you, that I'm gonna go ahead and that painting that I did for y'all's EP, man. Let's go ahead and get like a 
Uh, next time y'all have a steak show, let's do like a presentation, man. I'll bring out the painting and whatever, man. But that's y'all's. I know I initially said some different business dealing, but you know what? Shit is a new day right now, man. And y'all always been cool. And as much as I have respect for you and Cash, it extends to the rest of the steaks, man. So that painting actually says the steaks. So who am I going to sell it to besides y'all? And I'm not going to sell it to y'all. So it's yours. But, I mean, then you know we just going to have to do something in return. Well, you know what? Then I'm gonna just, great. you know, ain't you right? Ain't nothing free. Classic got a song on his album. This dope as shit. Shout out to Classic, sir. We about to fucking smash this winner, my nigga. Oh, oh boy, it's gonna be hot, nigga. It's not cooling off. That's all I gotta say. Z, and, it's hey man, fucking hundred degrees outside right now, bro. It's a hundred like degrees. Ten o'clock. Hey, how did Keith Murray say? It's ninety six degrees in the shade. He's heating up. No, I'm not. I'm on fire. Shit, it's hot, bro. Fucking 100 degrees. And not just because we are who we are. It's the state, nigga. Yo, so, hey, go ahead and... I dropped you a... Yo, when I made this beat, bro, I had no idea where to go with it. And it was like divine intervention. You came through that day, and I played that track because it sparked my brain. That blazer of the trail, bro, that is so up your alley it's unbelievable to me so even when you had them posts and I appreciate you I got you on the line now, I appreciate you sharing that hate my face part two you said you was over there dying laughing man I do my best you know I'm just being me but if I'm entertaining that's great it's hilarious dude like we talk about you man like <laughs> we're like we're like we don't I don't know what the fuck is wrong with Kamani again but he's doing it these again. motherfuckers hate my face nigga Hence, I have on the the uh, bullshit blockers part do edition the shades. I got the earplugs and the shades in, nigga. They cannot violate of my space, my nigga. <laughs> hey, but I side checked all that to say that beat I custom made. Well, not custom made, but it is divinely happened for you, man. And I cannot wait to hear it because when you said shit, this is the only song I need to do that night. I'm gonna be running out of br yo. I, I I know what you come with. I can't wait to lay it down. Yo, the booth is calling your name. Your name is on the sheet right now. Your probation officer is about to call your house, my nigga. Come in Dude. here and drop this shit, nigga. Dude, the night I left your spot, my bike shitted on me. Yeah. On me. You told me that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I just <laughs> touched a tear to my mouth. It was a sweat cheek. Sweat ball just run down my cheek and I fucking tongued that sweat ball. <laughs> It looks crazy on camera, but just know it's irrelevant to what we're talking about. Go ahead, your bike. I, I think it was. I think it was pretty much just because I didn't drink that bloody Mary, man. I just, <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you so right. You cursed yourself, my nigga. Good and well, you know these Mary. You said bloody Mary three times and didn't drink it, nigga. That's what happened. Look, look I tried it. Like, I, like I had bloody Mary. I was like, eh, that's not for me, right? But since you offered it, I was like, cool. cool. Well, I appreciate that, man. I got some bean pie and some bean soda if you want that shit too next time, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna run into that thing mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's on repeat, nigga. <laughs> but, but it was such a huge ass cup. <laughs> hey, man, man, we don't play around here. You know, I drink this much for entertainment purposes, my nigga. Oh, but something's in my eye. Oh, my God. That was a 32 ounce of tomato juice. <laughs> Hey, 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 can I get that 32 ounce of uh, clam and tomato juice, please? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I can't do it. Fuck. <laughs> I can't do it. Shit, man. Well, you left with a gym that night, and I appreciate you for stopping through, man. I wish you the best wishes with your bike and shit, bro. Fuck that. Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to get that shit. Fixed, you know what I'm bro. saying? If, but, unless uh, you trying out for the next Need for Speed, nigga, get you a Hyundai with cloth interior. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Nigga! Break down in five seconds. Hey, do game, do game, do game. So what, do you, have you figured out what song you're going to do tomorrow? You know what, while you're on the horn, um, you know what, I do. I want to do Puff Paint Tees tomorrow. From the Better Roses. I'll tag it in the thing, but it's, uh, woo, nigga, it's, yo, Came a long way from them days of puff paint tees, but any means did my thing, pursued my dream. And I'm going to end it at there. That just is a, a footnote to let you know that that foot is going in they ass, my nigga. But big game, big game. You're going to do that shit right before I do the blazer joint. Oh. I'm going to need a break. Okay. <laughs> well, fuck, bro. I got, I got the intro of the century for you, my nigga. Hey, man, shout out to Cash, man. He's not... Hey, shout out to Lord Cash. He's what now? 
He's not feeling very well. Hey, man, Cash, hope you get well, sir. Above the weather, above them clouds, my nigga. You a, you a Jeep, sir. Yeah, man, shouts out to you. But that still ain't got nothing to do with Sorry, you. Man. That still ain't got nothing to do with you uh, cussing me out when uh, you got put on three-way. But it was all for good reason. Come by, my nigga. Ha <laughs> ha, my nigga Cash. Renegade. My, he said, I'm a, what'd he say? I'm an eight foot, or uh, ten foot, twenty foot giant in a six foot body. What the fuck did he say? That shit was so hard. Twelve foot giant in a six foot body. Renegade. Mustang. Man, come on, son. Y'all kill that shit. Wait, wait. I holla at my boy from, uh, my boy Jameson from Baca. It's in the demon slut. Right? Okay. And, and we're, we're chilling at his crib. You know, we just trying to buy a little something. And... He has his drum set up, and there's some dudes singing on the mic. And so he's just like, hey, how about y'all type with us? And so... No, no, no! <laughs> Go ahead. So, so, you know, we're just passing the mic and whatnot. And then there's this one time where Cash just raps. And he just keeps on rapping. <laughs> and then he just keeps on rapping. <laughs> hey, who <laughs> put the battery in that nigga's back? Keep going, my nigga! I had to literally, like, put my hand on his shoulder, like, hey, hey. There's other people here too. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Cash is that dude, man. He just forgot that he was rapping. That was that's how dope he is. He, hey, he forgot that he was rapping. That's fucking hard body. I'm about to quote you, sir. Yeah. Lord Cash is so dope. He just forgets that he's rapping. Pretty much. Do not blame this man for his abilities. He's part of the Fantastic Four, my nigga. He's an X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't throw cards. He spits bars. Bang, 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 nigga. Hey, man, did you hear the, uh, did you hear the Fox Swaggy P? You know what? I did, bro. And it took, I'm sorry it took me so late to get on it. But that's when I was like, I, I heard it right after I gave you a little bit after that beat. Because I was like, you know what? If I'm going to talk that shit and say I'm going to put Fox Swag to the test, at least let me give it a thorough run through, not a skim through. That shit is hard. I hopefully, are you leading into that song you and Cash did? Go ahead. Yeah, that's a Cash has a been well, so he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to come through. I actually had that on the set that for tomorrow. Ah, damn. That's cool. I'm, I'm performing a couple other joints out there. Hey, you know what is so dope, man, is that y'all are able to still have your solo ventures each come through as a group. And it's no animosity. Like, y'all all recognize the brand. That's what made Wu-Tang as so powerful as it was in the beginning. And then, you know, egos and everything gets pushed aside when shit goes there. You know what I'm saying? I wish y'all the best, and that will never happen because I see the bonds y'all have. But I just wanted to admire the fact that y'all can do whatever you want and still be cohesive. That's great, bro. Especially in this day and age, man. There's so many crabs in that barrel. It's like fucking Joe's Crab Shack, my nigga. Whack. Not bad. Yeah, man, that's the only way to that's the only way to grow, man. Because I mean, even though we all work together, we all you're individuals. We all, we, all, we, we all feed off each other just for individual purposes. At the end, word. You know, so I mean, even if it's uh, even if it's our keyboard player playing the stakes music, he's going to be trying to do better just for himself to be a better player, or our drummer, or our, or our bass player, guitarist, whatever. You know, everybody's feeding off each other, hitting off each other in some way. Hey, once you tap into that energy, man, you never let it go. Once you got that energy, you fucking use that shit as a drug for for good, my nigga. That's it, man. That's it, man. There's too much bullshit out, man. So, you know. Mm, hell yeah. You want to put out good quality shit. It's yeah. the only way. Yeah. Yeah. You got you to gotta pay a couple steps ahead. Hey, well, Z, man, I'm going to go ahead and give you this last segment here, sir, because we got about 15 minutes left on this film, and I want to give you all the shout-out time you need right now. Give big ups, props, plugs, whoever you want to, sir, and then I'm going to ask you for a request. So think about it before you go. Go ahead, brother. All right, man. Yo, big first shout-out to Kamani Kim for the show. Appreciate you. All of that. Kim yes. TV, bang. And we're going we gonna to be spreading this shit till it grows, man. I appreciate uh, you. Shout-out to ID in the green room. Hold it down since shit, because I moved out here. <laughs> Lord Cash, The Stake, Brothers Cosmo, uh, Riders Guild, Autumn Cat, Hidden Out, Blunt Club, What Up Dump, uh, All My Cats Back in Mississippi, Bill Coon, Mr. Dick, 7.30, he's in Texas now, but he's doing a damn thing with Mellow Music, dropped this track with uh, Sean Price. Sick. It was really dope. Uh, 
uh, fuck, man. Just shout out to everybody, man. Everybody that enjoys good music. And yeah. the whole world loves the stakes, how they get down, bye bye. Uh, <laughs> my nigga, good looking right there. Hey, what is what you want to hear, man? Because I know what I'm going to play right after you tell me your request because you already name dropped it. But whatever you want to hear, we can call it local, undiscovered, mainstream. What are you vibing to right now? Right now? Do this for me. Realistic. Oh, no, have you already, you've already played that, right? But who gives a fuck, my nigga? There's a lot of people who ain't heard it because I was going to play that or Cream of the Crop, so you pick. They cream the crop, man, because that's the whole, that's the family, too. Hold on, I'm going I'm to go ahead and get this popping right, right now. That's on I'm reels, right, Arza, right? Man. That's on reels, right? Shout out to my man, Arza. Hey, Arza, hey, you don't even know. Me and Arza ain't told nobody about this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it right now on Kimchi TV. He's doing he's doing my uh my third EP. I got one coming out with Trauma Beats, one coming out with Racine, and ours is gonna do the uh uh look and see or something. Bro, I don't know. I do music just because I got album covers. I feel the album covers with music, but I just wanna do covers, my nigga. <laughs> dude, dude. Arza is the shit. He's the other hardest working yeah, producer than me. He's the only other producer I know works harder than me, and that's a lot, bro. Dude, I spent a day with Arza. Okay. Okay. I don't, I, can, I don't know if I can ever spend a full day with that dude again. Oh yeah, it was like that, huh? <laughs> Arza, Arza was going off the raw sushi down on Mill Avenue. Had everybody singing like "Happy Birthday" to like. <laughs> we're trying to get we're trying to get the waiters to to give out shots of water. Nice. It was his day, man. I was just the guy, man. Always and you know what? He always got him a fucking bag of shrooms, man. He enjoys life, brother. You know what, man? I, I, yeah, man. That was, that was. And I didn't put him out there, folks. He he he'll let you know. He'll let you know. So that was a part. That was a part of the night too. Hey, hey! Yeah. Welcome to the world, my nigga. Coffee. Hey, the Blaine Coffee, man. Hey, Blaine Coffee. Shouts to you, sir. I also gave a shout out before that state of the arts project you put together with all these collective of fellas, man. Much respect to you for that. You got bars, my kind sir. Alphabetico, Mystic Blue. Hey, oh my goodness, man. Hey, we got that cipher joint. <clears throat> Come on, son. Yo. Yo, hey, well, Z, I appreciate you giving me some of your time, kind sir, man. We're going to go ahead and get into this cream of the crop joint right now and shout you on that farewell, my sir, and we will see you tomorrow night. Bang, my nigga. How about your boy? See me, they watch. Check the team, check the beat. We the cream of the crop. To rock straight over the canvas like a feed on blocks. Flow steaming it hot. I proceed to the top. Yo, speaking of God, I heard his soul breathing the talk. So what you want? You already got the keys to the lock. Time to find the gate. My mind's to buy until it's final state. If this is 98, it's lies to make the final break. Hip hop, yeah, I'm true to my face. The veins been blue flame until I blew in the face. I do it for the people so you feel the music I make. We do it for suitable mates. It's not cool, it's a waste. But I do like I'm based. Off the beat loops that I lace To see truth is my fate I keep moving on pace Straight forward like a fucking beat Cruising on brakes The cream of the crop Regardless of your usual taste What? I don't care what you see or you thought Best believe we the cream of the crop No fantasy or imagine Some dream that you bought We the cream of the crop When you need us to ask The soul's beaming on stop Ain't hard to see We the cream of the crop Shut your mouth, Mr. Dub has arrived. You never know me for cool shit. Turn down, my bad. Shut your eyes. Like a phoenix has arrived, all attention is not mine. So as I've got your ears, I may as well intercept the thoughts of your mind. Fuck them, they're not important. You entertain my boredom, and mediocrity is your circus and all your consideration. Oh my God! I'm going to let the virgin when I engage my pen and daily dread samurai. I kill the pain of them. I want to urge daily hybrids. Run a bag of body them seeds to the green room like look what I did. I'm not fighting this me. React to the daily bullshit, so I live today like it's tomorrow. The future's already passed. 
intense. To you, this is magic. To me, this is passion. Speakers blasting the soundtrack to an ill ass and fasting. You can't make it past me. Realistic ID. Who says the cream of the crop can't contain three beats? Feed no till it's beats. I don't care what you see in these thoughts. Let's proceed. We the cream of the crop. No fantasy. Over magic. You need some dream. Realistic. We the cream of the crop. When you meet us, our eyes gleam. The soul's beaming. I'll stop. It's hard to see. We the cream of the crop. Much love on the interview today. Cigar gut music. Up. I see you did your damn thing. Lies, wind blowing, blood surfing, sound waves. Oh shit, we the dope. It's not on no clothes. Nah. Alarm clock waking, tired your rappers losing focus. This ain't fighting on your throne. I'm busy building my whole shit. Your floor plan cool, but mine's more smooth. Innovators over imitators. Yes, indeed, running with the freshest beats in the whole separate league. Give me my space. Don't upset the upper echelon. The finest scientists couldn't dissect the charm. I D Z, I'm way too advanced and sharp. Not expand the art. And fellow kings with lion hearts. Yeah, uh huh. How could I not sit at the table with the rest of the cream of the crop? Word. Shave me, it looks like a mini mouth in my corner. It sucks. Fucking, it's like you get a paper cut in the corner. Oh, even thinking about paper cutting. A, ah, that shit's whack, nigga. That's what I'm going through while I'm entertaining you. So enjoy your life right now while I'm fucking jabbering my jibs. This nigga dub. Hey, you know what it is, man. This is a great show. It's after dark. I'm probably only gonna do one because I wanna hang out with my lady. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. So we're gonna load this up. We got a lot of work to do. Hey, man, when you build an empire, shit don't come by chance, man. The Kimchi Dynasty, man. Bang! Recognize, my nigga. My people. My women. You call it what you want, man. You let. Sticks and stones may break my bones, motherfucker. We don't learn that shit for no reason. But anyway, bang. Let's do it. Hold on. Allow me to get to shut this door. I made it. Stupid. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face. Saying what it's going to be. No, no, no. Who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. Who the fuck said they better than me? Watch my video about Illuminati. Square. Who the, who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Talking about ATM, are you talking about AT? Actually, I'm the same person that you gon' see. I'm everywhere in the streets, I've been like this since I was three. Holding motherfucking hell like a freezer in the oven, and what the fuck that mean? Who knows what? I'm still stuck in there. I just wanna keep spitting up. Yeah, so, that shit fire. Yeah, good. Yo, cool. Cause y'all deserve some good bars. Yeah. I appreciate all y'all out there. While I got cups, you made me do it coming. Yeah, yeah. Who the, who the, who the fuck said they better than me? 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 Who the fuck said they better than me?